Hey guys, if you're having problems setting up your deep half guard or coyote guard because your opponent forces you in a knee cut situation or your opponent's trying to put you in a sort of headlock, stick around until the end because we are going to troubleshoot this. Okay guys, um, I have been receiving some questions about how to avoid the knee cut when the person's trying to knee cut you or sometimes the person just put that chin across your and then you are not able to set up a coyote guard and oftentimes also people are headlocking you going to guillotines tarses and stuff like that i want to show the options here so let's suppose i start setting up my half guard and then when i pull the guy the guy kind of stand up pretty quick and start knee cutting me this situation so every time you are in a situation like that, you cannot, like, you'll be hard to put a coyote, you can steal. First option you can have, uh, if the guy is tall in his posture, uh, you can hold his hand. If you have the hand on the floor, even better. If you have the hand on the floor, you just touch the hand like that. Don't do much, much effort. If he's tall, you hold the hand here. So my first option is kick his, kicking his butt. Boom, you have to pose that hand and then, I start coming up to, to go to the back. My second option, he's there, he's very aware, he's hiding his hand somehow, I cannot get the hand. So look your second option. You're going to keep this tight, be aware with headlocks. I'm going to spread out my body and pushing the knee like that. Look, and I look what I'm doing with my, with my leg. I'm doing maximum I can like that, pulling him over me and blocking the knee. Now that I have here, I bring my, my knee close to him and I do it again and I do it again and then I'll dive into him in a, a yes in a deep half guard right so then you can play deep half here or if you really want coyote look what I'm going to do I push the knee boom I'm the perfect situation for coyote so now look my hook is already here I have my coyote hook and I start uh, doing my thing right that's the first job. Let me repeat. So I start, I start diving into my coyote. Like put your knee on the floor first. When I start going, you put your knee. I start diving and he's going to raise his knee and then he start knee cutting me. So yeah, first option, block the hand, kick the butt. Look, you let go for one second, there's no problem. If you try pass, he lose timing. Don't kick, force into posts, get out and start playing, right? Second option, uh, I'm going to be very tight here. Don't cross. If you cross, you lose pressure. Don't cross. Squeeze, like I pull him on top of me with all of this. I extend my body, I push the knee. And I adjust. Look, I block the knee, I pull, I adjust one more time. And then I adjust one more time. And then I go, extend. I go to the deep half. You can play deep half here, but if you really want Coyote, from here, look what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn all the way to the other side and look what I have, Coyote hook, and I start playing, right? So that's the first one, knee cut. Second one, oftentimes people are saying, me, oh, when I try set up, people, you guys are telling me, when I try set up my half guard, doesn't matter what type of half guard, people are heading, head locking me. So I come here, to my half guard and he's going to headlock me. You know the reason, this is a simple one. Go back there. It's because you guys have your head floating here, far from him. When you decided to play half guard, doesn't matter what type of half guard, if it's deep half guard. If it's not deep half guard, of course you have your knee shield here. So a little bit harder for him, he can jump to a, like a jumping flying guillotine, but you always are aware, it's not so easy for him. But when you decided to play deep, my head had to connect to his opposite hip. Look, I come here, boom. Now try headlock me. Look, it's super hard. He's trying, but it's hard. He cannot put, even put the other hand in. And then uh, by the time he's going in, inside me to really try, I'm going to pull him. I force him to post and then look, I adjust. I go deeper, try headlock me. You see how hard it is? He can't, he can't, he's not going to insist, otherwise I'm going to sweep him. If he insists, keep insisting. Look what I'm doing with my foot. Look what I'm doing here. Put in my hook. And then look, he have no wizard because he commit to that thing. And then I just start oh, taking his back. 
right? That's it, guys. That's it for today. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, Ian. Thank you, sir. Nice, man. Cool.